Hello friends, I know the audio is not gonna be perfect in this, but I'm too lazy to go get my microphone. So here we go, sharing a grocery haul on my shouting from over behind my island. Okay friends, this is what I just brought home from Sprouts. I love Sprouts, we have one in Memphis. Um, low cost, lots of organics, and natural awesome stuff. So I got all of these groceries today, $136. And this little category over here is like health and beauty stuff. So these things alone, a huge thing of Dr. Bronner soap, some natural shampoo, natural toothpaste, and some natural shaving gel, shave cream for me. Uh, that right there was $40. So actual groceries, about $95. And this is to make Pinterest recipes, which I'm going to be sharing with y'all this week. And I chose six full dinner recipes plus one dessert. So this week we will be making a black pepper tofu with bok choy a falafel bowl with fancy lettuce I got from the farmer's market. So uh, falafel bowls and a jambalaya, a cheesy broccoli brown rice bake, a butternut squash Buddha bowl, and lemon spaghetti. So those six recipes from Pinterest, I will try to share. I'm not sure if I'm going to show every single one, but if they turn out good, easy to make weeknight meals, I will share them with y'all. And the dessert recipe is a healthy chocolate chip blondie that's made with chickpeas. So we've got a dessert recipe for the week as well. So not bad. Six recipes for $95, really. Um, so Simon and I are trying to save money for a lot of reasons. Um, he's burning out in the corporate grind, which I've mentioned in some of our um, retreat videos. And so I refer to it now as hashtag free Simon. <laughs> we are working on project hashtag free Simon, free Simon from the corporate world. So I'm really watching the budget these days, pretty proud of myself for this grocery haul. Those recipes will probably last us closer to two weeks than a week. So that's pretty cool, uh, including going out once or twice. And uh, so let me go through what I've got. This is the beverage category. We do like to have sparkling water. We love this Mountain Valley brand of sparkling water, which is from Arkansas, right next door to us here in Memphis, um, somewhere in the Ozark Mountains. And these were on super cheap sale this week. They were three for five dollars, which is great for these huge bottles of Mountain Valley. So I got six of those. We got our favorite plain, unsweetened, organic soy milk from West Soy. Simon takes these to work, puts them in his coffee at work. Any sort of recipe that calls for creaminess, um, soy milk, got that. Organic black tea, I just get the Sprouts brand. A hundred tea bags of organic black tea. I like having that in the morning. When I'm not having coffee, I'm trying to cut down on coffee for my get rid of skinny fat. Also bought a big jug of silk almond milk, unsweetened. Um, gonna use that in a few recipes. I alternate between the almond milk and the soy milk. Then what do we have here? Dry goods, I got stocked up on some nutritional yeast that they have in bulk at um, Sprouts. So I just keep a container of Nooch at home. Got some spaghetti for the lemon spaghetti recipe. Falafel mix. Uh, the recipe that I share with you shows you if you want to make your falafel from chickpeas, fava beans, whatever, make it all from scratch. Not this girl, this is a weeknight recipe. I'm actually making this tonight. Um, I just buy the mix, make the balls, cook them, uh, bake them. You'll see how I do that. Other dry goods, got a bottle of tamari. We go through tamari like it's going out of style around here. 
for Asian recipes. That'll be in the black pepper tofu, bok choy. Coconut milk is actually for the lemon spaghetti. It's a creamy lemon spaghetti recipe. Some crushed tomatoes for jambalaya. Three cans, this is my tower of chickpeas. So three cans of chickpeas, gonna go into the dessert recipe and a couple other things. Uh, and then also some kidney beans and some white cannellini beans. One can of each of those. Ah! Uh, refrigerated things. I picked up some vegan, artisan vegan field roast Mexican chipotle sausages. Those are going to go in our jambalaya. Three containers of tofu. One is for the black pepper tofu with bok choy. Obviously, you need tofu for that. And two, just to have on hand, I like to make a creamy onion dip that I that we put on all sorts of things. Even though I'm stocked on onion dip right now, always, always, I keep extra tofu in the house. And Sprouts Tofu, organic tofu is only $1.69 a container. Super cheap. I love their price on tofu. I just recently ran out of tofu and had to go down to Fresh Market, which is the swanky swank overpriced gouge their customers but right next door to where i work so sometimes i pop in there to get things and tofu was 2.99 a container there ridiculous dollar 69 at sprouts okay two red onions one yellow onion a few shallots three shallots a couple whole bulbs of garlic i buy most of the produce that you see is organic it just depends. If it's all looking manky, as the Brits say, uh, then I will go like there. Or if it's super overpriced or manky, then I'll go conventional instead of organic. If it's a decent price, looking good, I'll get organic. Um, I thought their shallots and garlic were highway robbery for the um, organic kind, so I just got conventional there. But most of this is organic. We got a cucumber, that's for our falafel bowls. Two organic yellow peppers. Uh, the recipe called for red, they didn't have red, so we're putting yellow into our jambalaya. This is how, little tips for how to save money. Some tomatoes, that's gonna go into our falafel bowls. And we have cilantro, flat leaf parsley, and scallions, which are used to accent all sorts of dishes, the Asian, the jambalaya flavors, the middle Mediterranean. So um, just uh, those will be kind of toppings for things. Celery, I needed celery this week. Some fresh dill for the falafel bowls. I think we make a yogurt based um, dressing for the falafel bowls, which might have some fresh dill. And you'll see in the recipe videos. And a big thing of broccoli for our cheesy broccoli brown rice bake and a huge tub of spinach organic baby spinach and then last but not least over here in the fruit category i picked up some grapes simon likes to take fruit in his lunch and two lemons we need some more lemons with the lemon spaghetti recipe this week there you have it. There's everything I got from Sprouts and I will be sharing with y'all as I make these recipes. At some point this afternoon in between clients, I'm gonna try and make those chickpea chocolate chip blondie dessert recipe. And if those turn out well, I will share that with y'all. Well, I'll, I'll just share what I cooked this week. Why not? And um, we're making the falafel bowls for dinner tonight. I got a really fancy lettuce from the farmer's market and I wanted to focus that lettuce in a salad. So I will share that with y'all as well. Thanks for watching my grocery haul. I apologize if the audio wasn't great, but I was trying to yell from the other side of the island. Talk to you soon, friends. Bye-bye.